I'm Wayne Dolce I know exactly who you are, Wayne. We can now add Lufkin lawyer Jimmy Castles to our growing list of fans in the legal community. But our relationship, well, it goes downhill quickly. I'll walk with you. Now, I don't want you walking with me. Well, Wayne. unfortunately, I'm going to walk with you if you're going to be mean with me. We were just trying to ask simple questions about Mr. Castle's relationship with this guy, Clyde Harrington. He wasn't wearing a black robe on the day we watched court, but make no mistake, he's the judge in Angelina County Court Number 2, has been since January 2017. And if you're going through a divorce or a child custody fight here in Lufkin, there's a 50-50 chance that Judge Harrington, well, he'll decide your fate. This Angelina County Deputy Sheriff followed our camera crew outside as our chat with Mr. Castles continues. Would you do something with this man? He's annoying me, Danny. Is that a law? Where? What are is, we looking at, Wayne? Is there a law that says I can't walk and ask you what? Excuse me. Get that back to him. I guess we struck a nerve. What possible question could we have asked that would have sparked this vicious assault on our microphone in front of the center of justice, in front of a lawman? I just want to ask you if you think you got a better I, deal in that I, court. No, better deal than what? A better deal, Mr. Castles, than all the folks who appear before Judge Harrington without knowing what Dolce Fino Consulting now knows. If I lived here and was looking for a guy who could help me with the judge, why wouldn't I hire that guy? Uh, I mean, that would be your man. I mean, that's, that's uh, Mr. Castles. But before you think that's some kind of endorsement, it was Ryan's ex-wife who hired Jimmy Castles. Ryan Hunt had been paying child support for his daughter since 2009. Unlike a lot of guys, he was paying on time. But his ex-wife hired Jimmy Castles eight years later and wanted to triple the child support. This divorced dad wanted what a lot of guys want, 50-50 parenting. Now we've got the court transcript, and you can see how Mr. Castles was allowed to talk in Judge Harrington's court. Quoting, I would like to see the court call in an air attack on Mr. Hunt that would take his eyebrows off because he's cheating on his child support. It's as obvious as the nose on anybody's face. Judge Harrington finally cut the hearing short because he had another meeting. Ryan Hunt, he lost both fights. You got suspicious. I did. And that's because Ryan later found out that Mr. Castles and Judge Harrington, well, they're real good buddies. At the time you were put back in court, did you know anything about their relationship? Uh, I did not. On Facebook, you'll see that Judge Harrington did the I do's at a Lufkin wedding back in 2019. That's not unusual, but the groom was Thomas Castles. Last name sound familiar? Is there a law that says I can't walk and ask you questions? He's the son of our microphone throwing lawyer buddy. The East Texas Magazine charm at the time noted the judge was a family friend. We big city dwellers know Lufkin's a small town. There are 96 Texas cities bigger, in fact, in population. Look, we're not naive. We know that in small towns, lawyers and judges, well, they hang out together, have a few drinks, maybe smoke a cigar. Lawyers are not going to snitch off if those relationships go deeper because they've got to go back in that courtroom. But the moms and dads whose lives are affected by the decisions, well, they've got a right to know if there's a friendship they should know about. It's fair to ask if it affects the scales of justice. Jimmy Castle's office is on Lufkin Avenue, like a bunch of other lawyers, just a stone's throw from the courthouse. Here's the back door to the judge's chamber on the second floor of the courthouse. And look who's next door, the Angelina County District Attorney, Janet Castles. Yep, that's Jimmy's wife. And guess who was the DA in Lufkin before Jimmy's wife? Wait for it. I know, this is too easy. Judge Harrington. 
No wonder they're all friends. I have, I have chosen not to speak with you any further. Okay. And that's it. Sorry, Judge. We're not quite done. Jimmy Castle's law office is housed in a building that's been in the family for decades. Notice just above the Castle's law firm sign, you can still see some holes drilled in the siding. You could even see the outline of another sign that used to be hanging there, right on top of Mr. Castle's. We know what it used to say. Clyde Harrington, attorney. After his stint as DA and before Judge Harrington became a judge, he was a lawyer back in private practice, and he shared a P.O. box with Jimmy Castles, even a phone number. We pulled up pleadings from a few years back as part of our investigation. There was one question we couldn't answer. Did Judge Harrington pay rent to his buddy? If so, how much? Or was he given the office space for free, a thing of value? We think folks fighting family battles in that courtroom have a right to know. We've read Judicial Canon 2. We like that one. It says a judge shall not allow any relationship to influence judicial conduct or judgment. And that's why we went to Judge Harrington's court the other day. You see, Jimmy Castles was representing another woman this time. And we just wanted to see if the judge would disclose his relationship. Instead, he didn't say a word. Inside his courtroom, the judge refused to appear on camera, but he told us, as a judge, if there is a situation where I don't think I can be fair and impartial to both sides, I do need to disclose it. But judge, that's the problem we have. We think a judge should let the people involved in the case decide if you're conflicted. These are families fighting over kids. So we waited for the judge to leave his chambers. Okay, don't you think you ought to discuss that kind of stuff? Don't you think folks have a right to know? Well, if they do, they can come visit with me. But I'm so they got to come you. visit you to get the truth. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Really? really, judge? You think this could be going on in small towns all over the country? Oh, it is. There's no doubt about it. Uh, it it's everywhere. And that's why we go to places like Lufkin. If they won't tell you the full story, well, we will. I, I'm here to do what I do all over the state, is question relationships between judges and lawyers. He's a good friend of yours, isn't he? He's a good friend of yours, isn't he? 